So we've just finished a game of Twixt, an old 3M and Avalon Hill game from 1962. We're going to give you our thoughts on it right now on Legendary Tactics. So, yeah. you found this at a thrift shop. I found it at a thrift Very shop. Very deep in the game section Nine, there. I think it was $9.99. Oh man, okay. And Ten bones. In now, I knew enough. I'd never play, I had never played this game, but I kn I'd known about it. Okay. I heard it was like a really fun abstract. And there was actually another four Avalon Hill games there. Awesome. That oh, were part wow. of the same vintage. Oh, wow. But they were ones I'm like, oh, you know what? It looks neat, but I'll never get this to the table. Okay, but this so one this you saw, one, like, maybe. This one absolutely makes it to my table. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. so f much fun. People get it right away. Easy. And Easy to get. You get it in five minutes. No, you don't you don't necessarily know how to play super well right away, but you yeah. get the concept. Yeah. And in many ways it, it's it's very similar to games like uh, I think I'm thinking like Blockus. Yeah. Uh, yes. or um, I don't know, Chinese checkers maybe or something sure. like that, where you have to make it across a board and yeah, yeah. Other you're basically just creating and, like a train. Right. You got like a, yeah. a train across to from one side to the other, or yeah. in the reverse for, uh, for yeah. whichever color you are. Yeah, but it's it's got a, a surprising amount of nuance. For, it, it does for a game where the rules fit on one quarter of one page. <laughs> you know, of cardboard here. actually. Yeah, <laughs> back in the day when they used to print the the rules on the on the board game box. And this is the rules for Twix. This is the rules for four players. Double Twix. A sample game. The terms, the terms and basic, basic setups. setups and away you go and that's it <laughs> so, and have at it so uh, you know I mean you can't you can't come up with with anything uh, similar but well just just one quick comment on the, this game my god this game might be from 1962 wow it looks like great shape yeah good, great like, shape not new new but no no geez, it's but, in really like, good shape you could totally keep using this like you know and it's it's yeah good condition oh my gosh yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's it's really neat to uh to have found this i mean that's it's amazing such a steal, that's amazing like, yeah, 10 yeah. Bucks or whatever so your for. first blush opinions um well this is not my first game i played plenty with my son and, okay. and uh with uh some other people as well i i think this is a neat little game this is a game that i will bring with me wherever i go if if we're going up to a cottage or on Perfect. a you know, game. On, yeah. a, on a vacation or something like that. I mean, the box is maybe a little bit bulky, but the game will, if, if it's a rainy day, this is a game that'll get played. Sure, sure. Because it's, it's simple and fun. And You're under 10 minutes to play a game. Yeah, 10 right? to 15 minutes. Ten, it's, probably, it's not depending. a long game. Yeah. Uh, it's good for all ages. Yeah. Like now, that, like, arguably in our game, though, if you'd cut me off here somehow, we would have been so. It, it could have been going on playing. longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, but uh, uh, yeah. yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. I think there's enough room for strategy in this yeah. game. Yeah. There's there's enough depth there that you could uh, you can kind of start after you played a bit. I could yes. see, I could start to seeing some patterns coming up with where you want to play. Yes. How you want to kind of piece your pieces together yeah. and string them and. Yeah, from a strategy standpoint, the two things I think that are really key are no like seeing where you can get a double, uh, where you can get a double uh, placement, right? Like so if. For example, or triple or whatever. If you place here, right, then you can connect two different squares. You know, right, this would already two be different connected. Square, but yeah, yeah, sorry, these guys would already be connected, but but you can get but a, you can connect these two in one go, and that sort of thing that can really double spiral. things up. Yeah, and I could see advanced level play where perhaps you're just putting pegs down, and then and suddenly all of a sudden you're creating your connect. line within like yeah, five and, turns. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, the other thing that's a little bit um, hard, hard to gauge in the early games is how far ahead of someone. Because if you're in a race to, to get right, because it, it always kind of you'll kind of angle. Yeah, kind of you kind angle, of angle. Right? Yeah. So you have to play ahead of the person and knowing that you're still going to hit your target at the end. Because that's what happened to yeah. me on two different sides where I I saw my angle wasn't right. Yeah. So yeah. I I, need, I needed to have played over and and, and gone yeah, maybe angle. played a little bit, given a little bit more room, and then right. and then build the the the, the line there. The line but, that way, yeah. but I mean, this the strategy is not that no, crazy. No, no, no. It has that kind of. Uh, it has an element. It's a nice little puzzle. Yeah. It's a puzzly absolutely. kind of game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. was there anything you disliked about Twixt? Uh, you know what? The components aren't anything like overly special or anything yeah. but they are, they work. They're, They're fine. They do what they yeah. have to do. Yeah. 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 Serviceable pieces. Yeah. Uh, the board is not overly sexy, but no. it does what, again, it does what it has to yeah. do, right? Yeah. It is very like functional. Yeah, right. So everything, true. like the components work. I yes. mean, could they have made it look nicer? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's but true. I mean, that's true. for what it is, that's about my only complaint. Yeah. So I don't know. Do no, you have any? That, that would be. I hadn't even thought of it because I just viewed this as an abstract game, which I expect to be rather uh, like plain. flat and plain, plain yeah. in, in that sense. 
Uh, but now that you mention it, yeah, you know, hey, if you had a, an image there or, right, or like some sort of like, or, I mean, it is from 1962. We'll give it, we'll yeah, give it that. Some, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll give it some, some slack in that. <laughs> yeah. And I am being fussy. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, is it going to stop me from playing? No, no, no. Right? And this is a, this is a game where I think what's fun about it as well is as soon as you're done a game, you're like, let's do another one. That yeah, was, that was close. I could have yeah. won that one, and you I wanted, to, yeah, I want to try this again. So yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, that was our... any, any problems that you found with the game? No, just the aesthetics. I think, as I said, like it just does look a bit flat. But well, I will say this though is that it does have a bit of an intriguing look to it. Like if you saw two people playing this in mm -hmm. a coffee shop, you'd be like, "Oh, what are they doing? What's that game?" Yeah, you know? yeah, that's true. Because so it does have a certain kind of uh, abstract kind of appeal. je ne sais quoi, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> as they would say. But yeah, so, I mean, by, <laughs> obviously by by. 2023 standards it, it looks pretty drab but uh, yeah and i'm sure if they put this out again as a as a re-release they would uh spice, spice it, it up, up with a, a theme more. of some kind we're sure to, you know connect uh kingdoms or something like right. that and give it a bit of flavor but yeah um, but anyway no i thumbs up for me i think it's absolutely great, great we play theme. again too yeah, indeed so. figure out a way to beat them yeah. we'll <laughs> good, luck. good luck with that one anyway thank you so much for uh um indulging us with this little pocket review and uh if you can track down a copy of twixt i really recommend it i think it's a it's a good game, game to to try if you love this uh, kind of abstract family game so get out there get legendary and get gaming Ha, 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 ha.